pressure rests uh, have also now been made here in the sensational Pulachi sexual abuse case here that rocked Tamil Nadu and this was uh, two years ago in the year 2019. A CBI team now has arrested three AIDMK workers from Coimbatore, one of them that has now been sacked from the party as well. A total eight people have been arrested in this case so far with five already in jail. You should remember that the CBI now which is handling this case since April 2019, several women across Tamil Nadu were sexually abused for over two years and as the investigations continued, it revealed to be in a large racket. <laughs> Our correspondent Mughalan is getting us further details here. Mughalan, the chief minister, of course, making this political, saying that because it is the AIDMK, they have acted in and sacked their own party worker uh, involved in this case, but the DMK wouldn't have done so. Uh, definitely, yes. Right after uh, 2019, that is after the charge sheet being filed by the CBI, now three fresh arrests has been made by CBI uh, today and all three belong to a uh, AADMK and one, Arulanandam, uh, he is the Pollachi town student wing secretary also. And following this, this arrest made by the CBI in the morning, we saw ADMK rushing to sack him from the party. He has been sacked from the primary membership of the party and the action against the two other ADMK cadres who have been arrested by the uh, CBI is still pending. And today, when Chief Minister was addressing the public in Erode, he said that definitely action will be taken against any ADMK worker, whoever it is, if they commit any mistake and bring a disrespect to the party. So definitely, yes, ADMK has come under pressure from the opposition parties because now almost all the opposition parties are targeting uh, ADMK for, uh, for the arrest of ADMK cadres in the Pollachi sexual assault case. Today, DMK, uh, uh, DMK President right. MK Stalin have issued a statement stating that if, if CBI intensifies its investigation on the three who have been arrested by the CBI today, more ADMK cadres and members who are related to this case will get arrested. And DMK uh, MP Kanimoli also have tweeted if the case was not investigated by the CBI, none of these people who are accused now will not be arrested by the Tamil Nadu police agencies. So yes, now, uh, now mm -hmm. as the elections also is nearing, we, uh, we are seeing that definitely the opposition parties are targeting ADMK over this issue and other political parties which includes Makkal Mayam, Congress and others have, uh, have, um, have demanded that the CBI should intensify okay. its investigation and should find the culprits at the earlier and bring them to justice. So yes, as the election season is also nearing, now opposition parties are targeting ADMK government with this Pollachi sexual assault case. Moglen, many thanks for getting us those details here. And uh, this is the allegation that the DMK continues with as well. In fact, these are breaking inputs here in uh, yet another statement coming in from the DMK. Uh, Kani Mori has spoken out here on this as well. Well, she's once again attacked the AIDMK here on this, saying that her party had always maintained that AIDMK workers are involved in the Pulachi sexual assault case of the year 2019. And uh, this is now coming to be true only with the string of arrests that have been made by the CBI. Out of all the total of eight arrests made so far, three AIDMK workers are accused in this case. We were trying to suppress, I mean, uh, the Bar Ilango who was uh, directly, uh, you know, involved in this case and uh, the person who threatened uh, the girl who complained and her father was also beaten up and he was involved in that. He is an ADMK party worker and uh, he holds a party position also. 
so there was a lot of pressure from the admk to completely suppress this uh, issue and uh, make sure that it doesn't see the light of the day and uh, many political parties including the dmk and our party leader put lot of pressure we had a protest there and only after that it was even uh, taken up by the cbcid uh, uh, and uh, we knew that uh, it was not going the right way Uh, because uh, the um, uh, you know p police department itself gave out the girl's name uh, who uh, uh, one of the girls who was affected and uh, so after that uh, we had to put pressure so that the cbi takes it up and uh, i think uh, nothing was really moving except a few arrests now again they've arrested a few more people today and we come to know that one more person is a dmk i mean admk party functionary